I, I went on the record boards as Jessica Navaris. Um, different pool, but Bobby's here with me every time I get in the water. When I was in high school, we did our 25 arounds. We didn't have the lane three yet. We did 25 arounds and that was pure torture. And in Bobby's words, we only did it because he could make us. I love you, Bobby. Bobby became one of the most important people in my life when I was in eighth grade, which was otherwise a pretty rotten year for me. That was when I became the men's swim team manager, which just meant that I swam every single grueling lap at practice and then stood around the meets with a clipboard and a stopwatch. A few years later, though, I became the first girl to officially join the guys' swim team. I had to petition NISFA and all that. Bobby and I really had fun messing with the system. He was such an inspiration to my naive self living life on his terms, finding happiness, following his bliss right there in Lowville. Going to his apartment was like stepping into the city. I remember my mother being a bit freaked out that I'd spent an afternoon there, but Cynthia had been away for a week and he'd spent pretty much the entire time at the pool with us, so we thought it would be nice to go in and clean up after him after his week of bachelorhood. Soon after that, Sean arrived and I became a babysitter. That entailed me pushing his stroller around town while he shrieked at the top of his lungs and I had no clue how to calm him down. And unfortunately for him, that was not a solitary incident. Sorry, Sean. I have fond memories of our marathon Saturday morning practices, which would often stretch well past noon, leaving us to walk home in the snow and sub-zero temperatures with wet hair and empty stomachs. But it was great because Wooly Bully had been so loud in the pool, and Bobby and Big Guy were happy. It really was a sanctuary, that pool. Bobby led us to enlightenment, a higher ground. The camaraderie we shared on that team was remarkable and unparalleled, although I do still have jaw problems for getting blindsided in Animal Ball, but I won't go into that. I still have the mixtapes Bob made for me, back before John Cusack made them cultural icons. Once, and only once, I met a guy with a record collection bigger than Bobby's, and I married him. His name is Bobby too, is that weird? He too got to hang out in that apartment. I remember finally getting to go to the corner with Bob. Wow. I have some not so found memories of Lauville that kept me from coming back often, but every single memory of Bobby and of that pool those are the good ones. Those are the great ones. For that, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you, Bobby.